Hey guys, Matt Dancho here. And what I wanted to share with you guys is a new project that I'm working on building in the open. It's called Science Team. It's actually a Python package that you can use to create AI co-pilots and AI agents that can help you do data science tasks. So let's check it out. This is what I'm working on. I'm really excited about it. And uh, I want to take you through the GitHub page for it here today. So, and I'll give you access to all the code and also talk about the newsletter where I'm going to be demonstrating how to use some of this new functionality so we can start to see how to build these data science copilots for ourselves and our companies. So the idea here, this is the website. This is where it is hosted at. It's very new. I only started working on it just a few days ago, but I've got a lot of progress with it. We'll just go down through the readme. I'll explain what it is. This is an AI data science team. It started off as, you know, how can we... How can I build a, a team of AI agents that help me take care of some of the work that I would do normally as a data scientist in my company? And it kind of has branched out from there. I'm using a lot of cool techniques here, but really the new, newest concept is it's actually more about co-pilots. How can we utilize AI also with human intervention, and me checking its work as it's doing the processing? So what it's all about is building an AI-powered data science team of co-pilots that uses this agential workflow. It allows us to have agents that specialize in specific kind of areas of expertise, domain knowledge, so we can perform common data science tasks even faster than what we would do normally, like generating code, making pipelines, doing all of the stuff that we do as data scientists in the machine learning space. So this is very helpful. It's very useful if you're working on pro problems like these, like things like churn modeling, employee attrition, lead scoring, insurance risk, credit card risk, any of these types of projects. This is, the idea is, is we can take these agents off the shelf and help us out in performing and, and uh, completing these projects even faster. The tentative structure, this is kind of what I'm working on. Everything that I'm showing you right now is, is brand new. So just keep in mind, this is work in progress. Everything beta. You can definitely try it out and I'm encouraged to get your feedback on it. Um, long term, this is kind of the idea where we're going to have a team of agents that we can kind of pull off the shelf and we can run in, you know, kind of aut autonomous mode or we can run these with human intervention. And that's what I'm working on now is a little as integrating human, what's called human in the loop. But the idea here is that we're going to build these subject matter experts like an exploratory analyst or a data wrangling analyst or a data cleaning uh, co-pilot, a feature engineering co-pilot, machine learning co-pilot. Like these are all designed to help us accomplish specific tasks and write code or execute code or perform specific actions in each one of these steps. Like for example, an exploratory data analyst co-pilot might help you build exploratory reports and data visualizations faster. So the idea here is then eventually to tie them up together and then we can use a supervisor agent. Um, I, I may kind of modify this route, uh, you know, depending on how the progress the project progresses and also your feedback too, as you guys use this and tell me what needs, what, what it needs improved on and, and where I should dedicate my efforts. The available agents now, there's a data cleaning agent that I've been working on and a feature engineering agent. So again, these are kind of like mundane things that take a lot, you know, take me time to produce code uh, and I, you know, keeps me away from analyzing the information. Uh, more agents coming soon, exploratory helpers, scene learning, modeling. My idea is to eventually build a pipeline and also be able to interpret and explore data and, and analyze the machine learning models. So disclaimer, this project is for educational purposes. It's not intended to be like to completely replace your data science team at a company. There's no warranties, no guarantees. Providing this, you know, um, free for you guys to use for educational purposes and to also you know build on top of it. So if you want to you know, just go through that, that information there. Importantly, what I want to share with you guys today is how to install it and then also where to go for some quick examples of, of you know, recipes that I put together for you. So if you want to install it, the best way to do that is because this is beta, um, I, I recommend using this line of code here, hip install, and this will install it from the GitHub repo. So it'll install all of this code on your machine and get it ready for you so you can just, you know, start to import from AI data science team. So once you install it, you'll have access to code. These, these are just kind of basic, you know, shows how to make a, an agent. But what I'm planning to do is give you more useful examples in this folder here. So I'm going to go through that. If I click on the examples up here, this is how you can build a data cleaning agent and also a feature engineering agent. So let's just take one of these. We'll, we'll do the feature engineering agent. That's the newer, newest of the bunch. Okay, so if you want to make a feature engineering agent, this is how you would do that. You would load some libraries. So the particular AI that we're going to use is OpenAI. 
Um, so we're gonna use their large language model GPT-04 uh, mini. We're gonna see that down here in a second. But the beauty of this is that it's completely model agnostic. You can use any LangChain compliant LLM. That means Olama if you wanna run a local. So you've got like, I don't know, Meta's model or 3.3, you know, 70 billion parameter model or whatever it is running locally on your MacBook M4. You can use it, no problem. You can just run it. Um, and then you've got your AI copilot right there. So your company doesn't allow you to use open AI. You got it right there. Or you can use whatever your company uses. Like if they use say Amazon Bedrock, you know, Langchain has adapters for that. These are just some of the, the basic imports. So we'll be using Pandas, YAML, OS, Pretty Print. And then this is what I want, really wanna show you is, so this is how you would import it. Once you have it installed on your computer, um, it's now a Python package, just like any other package. You can access the agents. So we're gonna make a feature engineering agent and then you can add you know, utilities or, or whatever. This one's just kind of a, a helper for make, creating flow charts. So you can see what the agent looked like and one that you've constructed, how it looks, what steps it's gonna take and so on. So the, this is for set up. So to set up your, your model, your LLM, you're gonna select which, um, this particular example is set up for OpenAI. So we're gonna use GPT-4.0. Uh, we're gonna set logging equal, equal to true. So what is logging? Logging means it's gonna create a log uh, folder. So wherever you run this, here I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, no, not this one, I want this one here. So this is what your logs will look like if you set up a logs folder and then as it produces code, it's gonna create like a pipeline for you and it'll drop it right into a uh, logs folder. Okay, and that can be what you use, you know, if you get new data and you don't want to run your LLM every single time, it takes a long time, you know, I got your function right there for your pipeline. So that's what logs are, logs true. We're going to set up logs to connect to our uh, current work directory, our logs folder. Uh, but you can put it in whatever directory you want. Open AI key, you're, you're going to replace this with whatever your open AI API key is. And then this is how you would set up that, the model that's going to be used inside of the feature engineering agent. Next, we're gonna get a data set. So you just pull in a data set. This one's a churn data set that I have uh, available. Actually, it's available in this folder, this churn data.csv. But you can use whatever data set you want, any of your data sets that you're using for your company, for example. Then you create the agent. So we're gonna use that make feature engineering agent. set log. Remember, this is true. So logging, it's gonna set up logging. It's gonna actually you know, create function and it's gonna store them on my computer. And then we're gonna give it the path that we want it to a log to, okay? Once we do that, we now have the agent created and we're gonna get the mermaid flowchart. So this is a, a, flow, a flow chart. This is basically the processing steps. So we start off with a question or we, we give, in this case, we start off with some data that we wanna have feature engineered. We're gonna create the feature engineering code. Then we're gonna execute the code. Uh, if there's an error, it's going to try and fix the feature engineering code. If not, then it's going to uh, move on to the explanation step. Uh, which is good for if you need to like explain what steps that function is taking and it's going to then going to end and we're going to have the the function pipeline created and um, explanations and we can store those as well okay so this is how you would set that up once you create the feature engineering agent you're going to invoke this flow process main inputs are listed right here uh, i'll just kind of walk through them we're going to give it a target variable of churn if we have any custom user instructions like you know, hey, make sure to add this interaction feature in there. You can add that in there using user instructions. And then if not, that's an optional field. We're also gonna give it our data, a raw data set. We have to do dot two dict. And then we're gonna give it the max retries and the retry count. So that affects this fixed code right here. And that's going to limit the maximum number of retries to fix the, the code if it gets something wrong to three tries. Okay, it's gonna start at zero, one, two, and then the third time it's gonna say, all right, just can't seem to fix it. Once you do that, you run this and it's gonna create the response. Here you can see it's taking some steps. It's gonna create the feature engineer code, execute the agent, and then explain the agent code. And that kind of like walks through which steps it took right here. The response. So net, then we get a response and we've got a bunch of keys in here that I'm gonna list out and I'll take you through the main ones. The first one is the recipe. So this is the recipe that that AI took. It's gonna uh, do this process. It's gonna step one, do a copy of the data, then make um, some missing values, then remove the unique features, remove any constant features, identify categorical features, handle high cardinality, one hot encoding, convert Boolean columns to numeric, convert date columns if there are any. It'll help 
fix those. The target variable, if there's a target variable that needs to be modified, it's going to do label encoding. Like for example, churn yes, no, it needs to be label encoded. And then it's going to return the, the processing steps. Okay. Uh, then, uh, so, so that's what it did in the explanation. Um, the real value is the function though. So this is what it's going to create. And this is, uh, if you set up logging, it's going to be stored on your computer. So this is going to be the pipeline that you can run it through. You take your data, your incoming data set. Then as you get new data, it's going to process your features for you. If, if those features need processed. Okay. Uh, and then this is what the output looks like. So I'm going to use, um, and, and what it does is it actually executes the code. Uh, right here it executes the code it returns a data set and you can e extract that data set from our response it sits in this data underscore engineered that's the key and you, you can pull out you can see all the you know engineered features that have been added in here like everything's one hot encoded it's all pretty much cleaned up and turn has been label encoded okay all right, there we go. So a lot more to come here, but that's just kind of the basic things I wanted to show you. A clear example, hopefully you can see that we've got a lot more coming. I didn't show off human in the loop yet, so how you can start to like modify the steps, pause the program to modify the steps, give it feedback. We've got lots more stuff coming. So if you check out the readme, uh, this, this gives kind of the roadmap. We just have some basic, two basic agents in there now. There's more agents coming. There's more, uh, there's more to keep updated with my progress here. Uh, as I mentioned, you can uh, most certainly uh, check out the GitHub repo. Do me a favor, give it a star. That'll give give it faster, give you faster access to it. Um, so that way you can kind of keep up here. Also, I have an AI tips newsletter. Um, so let me do AI tips. Uh, where's my AI tips newsletter? Um, so I have this newsletter where I'm going to be continuously updating people on the progress um, as I build out these agents and make this AI data science team you know, go from where I am now to like a, a true, you know, data science team with of co-pilots that you can use to like write code faster and get stuff done faster. So um, do me a favor. All you got to do is put your full name in here first and last in your email, click bring it on. That'll get you access to my AI tips. And I'm going to be keeping all of my subscribers updated continuously over the next, you know, six months as I build this thing out, you know, full scale to make it a full scale thing. So, Definitely even here today, sign up for the AI tips newsletter. That'll keep you up to date. And then also if you do get some time, check out the GitHub repo, give it a star, install the, uh, the, the latest version or the, the, the beta version, check it out, see what you like, see what you don't like, see what features I can add. And you can always, add, um, the, the, um, or if you want to like, you know, actually code yourself, I'm always looking for collaborators. So you can fork it and make a pull request as well. All right, enjoy. Hope you hopefully you like this thing. And I'm putting a lot of work into it.